Okay, we're gonna finish this up today. <laughs> oh, we're hoping so. That one helps. Well, it's just that the time clock's ticking on everything. Yeah, but it's not. Yeah, well, it's five still, in the morning right still now. Still early, but so it's only five in the afternoon. You know how that happens. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of lock them tight on there. I put it in the wrong spot though. I gotta move it to the inside. You wanna go home so early last night we could have finished it last night. Yeah, 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 yeah. A good spot for you. Oh, well, you like it. Perfect. There. Positive engagement, see? There, perfect, see? There it goes. That's why they have levers. You're not going to be able to in there help it turning it in there. Yeah, we also got a shift lever this long to yank with. All right. Well, I can unscrew it a little bit for you, but it have some tension on it. I like that a lot better. Hear the difference? Okay, we're in neutral. We didn't put that nut on there. Don't forget. Okay. Did you forget that nut wasn't on there? Well, you put it yesterday, but... Yeah, well, didn't go on the day, though. All right. Do we have another nut that's not so boogered up like that one? Maybe. I wasn't to the nut yet, though. I was on the... Oh, I know. I was on the more important stuff. You want the extra thick, you want some new stuff. Well, that'll work. That stuff works. As long as it's not empty. You know it's junk when you pull it out and it strings. <laughs> that's not junk yet. That's good. It's, it's getting broken in. That's still good. It's, it's almost done. Getting well done. It's uh, thicker now than it usually is. So I like using my race bike because I don't use gaskets. I just put this on. When it's a brand new can, it's real thin. It doesn't stay on as good. Well, this is get the can to get you, let you get any out of it. One advantage of being extra thick is I don't have to goop up all the other surfaces. There you go. Ooh. Yeah, that's a big old booger. Fred left that in there. <laughs> Leave that one on Fred. Where's he? Is he coming down tonight? I don't know where he's at. Hell, it's about time he brings some pizza or something, isn't it? Yeah, he does what he wants. I don't know if I have his number in here. There we go. That's it for that can. We used up what we had left. Find his number? Didn't I don't have it. Well, top secret then, huh? Well. 
Where's those screws that we had? Over there. Mm -hmm. Military gray CAD. Just the way you like it, right? is hidden all over the package here. Why to individually blister pack every stinking little lock washer? I think you can put them in a pile and just blister the whole area. And of course, I got to put two way up here where they don't even belong. Loctite on these so they don't come out? I think that's a good idea, sure. Never want to remove them again? Well, I won't be rebuilding it. It'll be long after me. You left a piece of plastic on this one. Is it going to make it to the warranty period? I'm sure it is. How long is that warranty period? What do they say? Five or fifty? That's right. Five feet or fifty mile an hour, right? That's what they say. <laughs> I didn't know I had to extend the warranty plan. Like I said, I didn't even get that out of that five hundred dollar bill on that van, so and he warned me, so there you go. He told you it was never good. He's a friend of mine. He knew it was going to be a piece of junk. They wouldn't even test drive it. If they'd have test driven it, they'd have known. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to get stranded either. Well, I was fortunate enough to make it home. Because it cost me 200 bucks to have it hauled down there. We didn't test fit these screws yet, so. They'll be okay. We're waiting for a failure point here. We're running out of things that's going to cause problems. No, I, yeah, I know. That's a good thing. Tell me to get an electric screwdriver to do this. Yep. What's an electric screwdriver to do? Screw it across the top. Making those big chicken shit marks across it. What'd you have for a kicker pedal? 
Uh, oh, we had that one that was all worn out. You like. Yeah, but we, uh, you got all the parts for it to build maybe. another one. I never got everything, but I got a few pieces. That 48 pin had, that guy had would have been a rigid frame, wouldn't it? Yep. Yeah, same one I got in the back. Have you seen his bike? Nope. I'm a new guy. Boy, that new hardware sure looks nice. So you don't like this screwed up nut on here? Well, if somebody hadn't used a chisel on it, I guess. It's pretty loose, too. Is there a uh, lock tab that goes under that? Yeah. See how this is on the shaft here? It wobbles around. Yeah, why is that? Probably because the threads on the shaft are made undersized. Oh, great. I doubt if this will <clears throat> I don't think I have any more new nuts. All right, well, that's okay. Let's see that one. It's not that bad. Used. There's some lock tabs floating around here somewhere. Custom. Let's see. If we put on there with red, you'll never get it off. So we're gonna put on with red. That'll help plug up some of the gaps in the thread. How's that? Empty. Need a new one. We stole my gasket cinch. You hold on to that. Hold on to what? The trans? You're fooling. Any mistake, would it be nice? Want it? Ah. It's harder on your thumb. There's too many things in the way to get you on a 45. Big twins, they don't get you so bad. Tight corners was in there, do you? I'm thinking so. I think the rag's part of the trimming, though. Working it out. Don't give you a lot of room to work with. Someone said my hammer looked well used. 
Yeah, it is. If it appears they, to be the right size for everything. If they only knew, you know sooner or later you're going to have to put a handle on it. I like that handle the way it is. It fits perfect right on your phone. It does, phone. yeah. A few years ago they put uh, the dimples up in here for your thumbs. Yeah, mm-hmm. See, this one, my thumb's going to hit on it. Yeah, it hits, right. It hits in the back. It yeah, that's, centers. that's a nice hammer. See, I should patent that. Yeah. Well, it just split off, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. but it, it came in the right spot, and I filed it till it was even. Yeah, it looks good. Because it was one nice and comfortable in my hand after I did it. So, like I said, I should patent that, but I never have, so. I just use it. It's been that way for years. Probably been that way for 30 years now. That's how they come up with all this crap anyway, it just happens and you feel oh, that that's worked. Nice. Yeah, by all by accident. Yeah, this is about the right size, it's not too big, not too small. It's got enough force to do something when you use it, and it's it's not so big that you can't get in tight spots with it still. So it's just the right size for most things. It does work good. Okay, now this piece of crap here that you bought, I don't know why you bought that thing. Because the one that I took off was even more was crappier. Was, it was broken. The whole thing was broken. Yeah, there was nothing left of it. What arm are we putting on this one? <clears throat> I don't see an arm. You got an arm? What, the clutch actuating arm? Yeah. Well, we were going to decide. I don't think you decided yet. We got NOS. We got a V twin Iron Dixie. Got some parts to fix your old one, whatever it went to. How pricey is the NOS one? Oh, I got about a hundred bucks into it. Okay. I like it. It's parkerized. Mm-hmm. Put it on there. Yeah, well, the last ones I had of these are OD Green 250. If we got the Dixie one, that's probably about 60 bucks, 70 bucks, something like that. Yeah, you thought that paint there was bad? Yeah, I don't know what they were thinking of on that. Yeah, that's some kind of, that's like Chinese or, well, there you go. It's Chinese. You just got to push it out, got a big flat spot in there. See, the original one doesn't have that. Well, you want to use the good one? Yes, sir. I don't see any of locks in there and bolts. That comes with bolts. See, even better. I'm going to repack the thing. I have to use that on my train right now. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm using on that piece of crap over there. All right, so we don't know if this even fits because we haven't tried yet. We don't know if this fits on here. We haven't tried it yet either. Looks like it might actually go on there. I think this hardware will work with that. Well, we're going to try. You know, that other transmission put together is certainly going to be a usable, good transmission. It's going to look good. And it's going to be a deal for whatever you listed for. Mm, I got to paint that one. Because it's freshly gone through. You wouldn't glass bead that one off? Sandblast it? Well, it depends if you want to build a military one or build a civilian one. Oh. You have to put some GB well on this one, damn. They got carried away in here. And yeah, with a screwdriver. Beat it out. That was me. Yeah, no, be, it wasn't. It looks like something you do. No, I didn't do that. I got chip stranding over here too, so this one doesn't have the marks in it like yours, so I'll probably use this one. Mine, that one ear got broken off the back of it. This one's not broken. Not down there in the corner. Yeah. Doesn't really hurt it too much. I'll probably use this case. It looks like it's a little bit better. This one hasn't been poured out like yours has in here though.
probably enough junk around to put a couple of those together anyway. So. Well, I was going to say, I would think off the shelf they would ought to be worth a... It just gets more junky the more used parts you use on them. But they, they, for somebody that's got nothing. Yeah, well. Could put a four speed together. Be cheap. Yeah. <laughs> the time. Three days of labor. Well, this was your idea. This would have gone quicker, wouldn't it, the other way? Uh, you never know. It would have been quick because this one was so mixed up on the parts. But the actual doing a lot of the work is the same stuff. The only difference on this is that all the special shimmy and stuff I had to do was above normal. Okay, so you get the plastic in there just tighter. Good thing you got a dull knife. Alright, so that's about that loose. A little bit looser. I can't tell where the rusty bushy starts. Yeah, I can't and, either. And the rusty cover starts. No, I know. <laughs> they just put it together and powder coated over it and said, well, we'll worry about it later. Jeez, that's bad. Ah. Oh, that well, my other one was really junk because it had the wrong kicker pedal on it. It kept coming around and it finally broke it. Yeah, well, the whole side was broken off. Everybody and their brother kicked on that thing. Oh, I could start it. It you had the wrong carburetor on it, huh? You spill bodies all over the place on eBay, but not anymore. And the NOS ones I sold off, so. Oh, well. So we're going to try to get these bushings out of here. You don't like rusty bushes? I don't like crappy bushes. No. Of course, it is tightening up now that I'm banging the piss out of it sideways. It's not helping my punch out any either. It appears I didn't want to come out of there. Yeah. They're in there pretty tight. See, that should be the bushing right here, though. There's my other one. Dude, that's even worse. Where's the big one? That's too big to go in there. Yep. So, if you go in here like this. <coughs> bang the piss out of it. You don't want to try to press it? I got nothing to push against. Something to hold it with, too. I got this special holding fixture over here. I'm going to use this. Yeah, really. You want to use the junkier of the two? Junkier of the two what? Cases. No, I'm going to use the one that has the studs on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, like that. Well, it's going to bang, the stud's going to bang on the case a little bit, but oh well.
you saw it. Oh, there it is. Right over there. Right the big one. No shit, he's up in the top. Or Scooby when you need him. There he is, right up there. I can see him. He's right underneath that box. Right on top of that blue box right there is a rat. It's a big one in there. Top of which? Oh, yeah. Right in the corner. Big rat. What do you got to throw up there? So where did he come down from? Because he came out of the ceilings. You got a dog ball, ball or something? There he goes. He just crawled up the roof there. He went up the pipe and in through the hole? Yeah. Well, you just need to stuff something up in there then. This shit is nothing stuff in that one. He comes through the fit. He's got holes in the ceiling. Yeah. Oh, see God. the holes in the ceiling? Was it big? See these holes in the I ceiling. I didn't see it. I wanted to see it. You have to watch the video. <laughs> it was about this long, the body. Oh, brother. About that big around. Jeez. About that big around, about that long on the body. About that long on the tail. Yeah, you hear it every now and then. They won't, uh, there's a trap up there and they won't, use it. They won't go to the trap. They're too smart. Yeah. Scooby's trying to find it. It comes and goes. It goes next door and gets, and they get killed over there. Rat poison they put out next door. You ever since they redid that house next door, I can't see if you're videoing the right thing. You're watching something else, so I don't know what you're doing. Ever since they re uh, cleaned up that house next door, it's been rats all through the block here. There it comes. There it's back there. He's up there again. He came back from Yeah, one? he came down. Yeah. You need a 22 rifle. Yeah, I don't have a, I got a 22 rifle. There's one in the corner over there. You got any bullets? Yeah. We'll lay down some suppressive fire. Is that what you're going to do? <laughs> Broke the cover. Look at that. Broke the cover. Piece of crap. Okay. The bushings won't come out with the cover will break. <laughs> what a piece of junk. You could fix that. I think they're so damn thin anyway. They're just not made right. Yeah, hitting on the bushing, not the cover. Why the hell's the damn cover break? Bushing won't come out. It's in there solid. You're going to lose the piece now. There, the bushing finally moved. Well, that's because there's nothing holding it in. No. The cover came out. It still touched the bushing's. It's brazed in. Look at that. It's brazed in. These dumbasses. They're not replaceable bushings. They're brazed in. That's why it won't come apart. They welded them in. Hmm. <laughs> That's why the cover broke, because I wasn't hitting on the cover. I was hitting on the bushing down here. I can weld it in bushings. That's stupid. So make a note. Don't change your bushings. Stupid ass V-twin shit. There you go. What a bunch of junk. Yeah. Where's your old one at? I don't know. Just fix it. You gotta fix this one. What the hell? Okay, this is um... Three fifty-seven. The hell kind of size is three fifty-seven? It's an odd size. Three five seven. Three five nine. It's a sixty-fourth size. I think I can't read it. Yeah, 2364 is 359 and a half. So they make a 64th size bushing is what they're using. Yeah. What the fuck is that? 
I knew that looked funny. They did that before they powder coated it. Stupid ass B twin crap. Bunch of junk. tighter fit than what they come with. So it's even easier when you put them in the correct size. 363. This is 358. Now this one after I beat the piss out of it. Three sixty seven eight five. I'm gonna tighten it by about three thousand while we were tightening it up, but even this is not even the right size. That's junk. What a bunch of crap. Now you're gonna weld it and burn the powder coating off of it. See the bushings aren't even the right size, that's why it's welded. See the bushings floating there? Not even made the right size. That's why they welded it in. See, they machined them. Because the case was so sloppy. See, it's machined to have a press in bushing. Yeah. But the bushings are loose, so they welded them in because they were loose. <laughs> oh, brother. That's why they welded them. That's weird. So that's why they look like they're replaceable. Because there's no reason to put a bushing in there like that if you're not going to. Well, and then they went and powder coated it so you couldn't see the braze. Yeah. Because if you could have seen the braze, you wouldn't have done it. Uh, yep. So I gotta have to take it home and blast all this crap off so I can get the bare metal and weld this piece of crap back in there. And then I'll line ream it with the correct reamer. Good to go. There's a piece of crap. This thing was like 170 bucks or something. It's ridiculous. Can't believe how much you get for these stupid ass junk parts. Doesn't even look right. I'm gonna go search on eBay so you can find a new one. A good one. One that takes real bushings that you can fix. By the way, we'll fix it. But not today because I don't have it. Have to clean it. You can't braise too crap. It'll make it even worse. Oh well. Still want to use a good lever on it? Sure. And you still want good pours. Well, the best we can find. Yeah, well, I ain't saying much these days. <laughs> You have to find your old cover and see how bad it. The whole saw was broken out of it, as I recall. But well, no, it's broken just like that one is there now. But the piece was there. Yeah, I gotta weld it up. I gotta weld one in. I'll weld up too. What the hell? Mine's to, at least clean. It doesn't have any powder coat on it. You try to get good parts, and the only thing out there is junk. Oh well. Tighten this back up so the gasket stays tight. Okay, lock tabs on. All right, so we need a kicker stud. We got a new one, didn't we? Yep. yep. But we don't have a filler plug. We got filler plugs around here. Not a cat blade one that you want. Well, if that clutch arm's parkerized, maybe I'll go with a parkerized filler plug. Yeah. Oh, crap in this. Get the paint off there so it can go in.
<laughs> what, it doesn't go in well? It's form fitting them to now. Oh, great. I felt a couple of threads rearrange themselves and now it's hmm. going there like it's supposed to now. Might have been a bunch of paint, now who knows what else in there, but whatever it was, it moved out of the way. It's just a nice plug fit. Nice and tight like it's supposed to be. Where did that spring went off to? There it is. You don't have any new springs? Uh, yeah, I got some new aftermarket ones. This one's all right. All right, you can put it on. I actually like the color of it. The color looks like crap. Well, it looks original. No, original's the black underneath. I know, that's I know. That's the color that's supposed to be the black. Well, I know, but that shows me it's original. No, originally it was black. I know, but they painted it, the original. See, it's got the red primer underneath the black. Yeah. I think it's kind of switched up a little bit, but it still, it still works. It's pretty loose. Yeah, it's definitely got some mileage on it. We can clean that one up, too, to match up everything else. So where was the bag this came out of? Somewhere. You want a nasty ass black filler plug? Is what you're saying? If they're not 300 bucks, it could be. Is there a gasket under them? Hell no. Should be. Well, there shouldn't be. Bunch of sharp ass edges on it though. She already made this one fit earlier, remember? I think you got a brand new. Yeah, one of your stuff you took with you with a bug. <clears throat> but that'll keep the dirt out at least. So now I gotta work on a throwout bearing. We had some kicker bolts too, I thought I got for you, didn't I? Any kicker bolt under here? There's a transmission stud. Now if I put that in there you'll bend it, so I'm gonna No I won't. Unless you're wrestling around with it there. It's going to bounce around all over the place. Look at that, just like it was made to fit. Always put grease on them. Right, because we don't want to pull the threads out of the aluminum. Nope. I bet that's been done before. No, so it doesn't uh, rust as much. Oh. grease in there, it'll keep it from corroding in there so much. In case you have a bike that doesn't leak oil everywhere. Most of the time you get oil that goes everywhere, so I'm fine. I'm going to screw that all the way down in there and leave it like that. It'll still bend if you hit it, but as long as you don't beat on it too hard before you wipe off the excess. Did we get your nuts for the bottom yet, or? Yeah. I think they're in. The, I think they're at home. Yeah, I think there's another stuff. There should be a kicker bolt on there. There's uh, two or three different kicker bolts. They go on these depending on the year. So the early one had the um, the thin head on the one side, so it doesn't bang into the cover. The early ones had a thicker head, and the late ones have a like a stove bolt head on it. The differences on them. I'm going to extra set of screws. I'm not using that. Use the flex springs. Let's see what we're going to use to get around to it. Alright, so we're. I 
Thought I saw the bottom. It must be that you're stuck if you're going home. I'll have to look and see what you got and don't have. I'm going to put these in here so we don't lose these bowls. Okay. Now we have a brand new nut here. Is it going to fit? Am I that tired, or you think there's something wrong? <laughs> you want my honest opinion? <laughs> there's something wrong. That's an NOS hot nut. Yeah. And it won't go on the shaft. No. Nope. Well, if it was gonna, it would have gone on by. Oh, there you go. No. Well, it might be those screwed up threads. They got that cosmine residue on there. That's probably the problem. Yeah, I don't think so. You don't think that was it? No. I told you something else was going to pop up. So now we got to figure out your old nut is at. See, it, see it. it feels like it's going to go, but it doesn't go. I mean, it just won't start. There's obviously a difference in diameters. Why would you think it would go? Oh, it's left handed thread. Oh. See, I am tired. It's still tight, though. How bad's the old one? Sharp in your hands. It's all right. You have professional quality tools around here to take care of these problems. First, you got to put a little Loctite on it. Somebody said bye. Okay, so you got a little Loctite on there. Like that lock that I use? Mm-hmm. It's not backwards, but I'm backwards. <laughs> Why do you run it in and out? Just to clean it up? Burnishing the threads. That means getting them to match each other. Now if I put lapping compound on there, it'll work a little better. But... Clean it all up. That's why I put the assembly lube on there, a good thick oil, because I'm putting a lot of heat in the threads right now. So you see the threads are just kind of working themselves in, not really doing any damage. Getting them to get friendly with each other. 
they obviously don't like each other. further than that. It goes good until right there and then it just gets tight. Threads just aren't happy with each other. Does the stock one go on farther? It is a stock one. Uh, the original one, though. You mean the original one out one? Yeah, the old one. Hold on. I'm going to use a new one, though. Going all the way. Plenty of thread to go all the way. See, you still got three sixteenths of an inch, it's not even two of mm -hmm. you. There's definitely a difference in something, pitch diameters or something. Probably helix angles. So let's see what screws the Harley cars. So it goes on hand right to there and it just stops.
Okay, and that'll work its way down. See if we get any gain on this thing at all. Want me to hold it? Can I hold it? I'm just chasing across the pan so you can tell. Measure it now, so it must be on deeper. I could put the caliper in there before, now I can't. It's not going on very much farther, a little bit each time. Yeah, we'll come back. I'm going to keep playing this for a while.